been around this part of East San Diego, then you know it. But did you know that this San Diego icon is actually two water tanks and not one? That and other interesting facts about this East San Diego landmark coming up. These are the Catherine Street water tanks. That's right, tanks. What you see here are two separate water tanks built for two separate water districts. The top mushroom head portion of the structure, ringed with those distinctive clouds, which we'll discuss later, is a 100 foot diameter tank and serves the Helix Water District, which includes the communities of La Mesa, El Cajon, Lemon Grove, and Spring Valley. And the 70 foot diameter mushroom stem serves the Padre Dam Municipal Water District, which supplies water to El Cajon, Santee, Lakeside, and other East County communities. But why this unique shared design? Well, it has to do with the nearby highway. Just below the water tanks and to the west is a relatively new California Highway 125. The path of the new freeway required the removal of two separate water tanks owned by the two separate water districts. So the unique brown water tank you see all over East San Diego was built to replace them. The contract was awarded in 1995 to the Pitt Des Moines Construction Company, a company which was founded in 1892 in, you guessed it, Des Moines, Iowa, and actually did get its start in steel tank fabricating, but later moved on to other waterworks, bridges, and other steel fabrications and their portfolio also includes the Gateway Arch in St. Louis. At the time of the Catherine Street water tanks construction, the company was headquartered in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, but has since been headquartered in Elk Grove, California since 2016. There's not a lot of information easily found on the internet about the structure. Listed as the Catherine Street tank or tower, the Grossmont water tank, the Fletcher Hills water tank, the brown mushroom, or first heard by me during my filming, the mushroom cloud. Think, think atomic bomb a play on words referring to the mushroom shape and the silver cloud adornments. Loved by some, loathed by others, the large striking tower can be seen from miles around East San Diego and is a handy landmark. Although there are mixed feelings about it, at least one person loves it. According to the only article that I was able to find on the tanks, written by Donald H. Harrison and found on sdjewishworld.wordpress.com, Denny Whitson, who lives across the street from the large mushroom-shaped water tank, likes it very much, noting that he can look up from 20 miles away and know exactly where his home is. I also spoke with a couple of dog walkers during my filming who were not as enamored, remarking that the structure reflected the highway noise downward towards the yards and houses in the area, a phenomenon I actually did hear firsthand while there. And what gives the tower that brown color? Rust, of course, but it doesn't need a paint job. Quite the opposite, actually. The steel used in the tower is core tin steel, an alloy which was developed to form a stable rust-like appearance after several years' exposure to weather, eliminating the need for painting. And those contrasting 12 by 20 foot stainless steel clouds were constructed by students from nearby Grossmont College. According to the article by Mr. Harrison, which also states that their art teacher, Jim Wilsterman, are said to reflect the natural water cycle and ever-changing sky over the Cuyamaca Mountains. Hate it or love it, this unique landmark has been a fixture in the East San Diego skyline for over 20 years now, and although little has been written about it online since its construction, it has a very unique story that I thought you should hear. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, hit that like button. If you want to see more, consider subscribing below, and I'll see you in the next one.